Number seven. 40% solution and 60% solution used to make 200 liters of a 52% solution. How much of each are needed? Let statements. Let x represent, well, what is it representing? It's representing liters in specifically. Liters of 40% solution. And let y represent liters of 60%. OK, I'll write it. So OK, so what is your first equation? Well, I'm going to take the x and the y. I'm going to add them together, because that's going to make 200 liters. So x plus y, those are my amounts. And they have to add up to 200, or I didn't make a 200 liter solution. Second equation. Now, it's sort of like a worth equation. I'm going to multiply these things by percentages. What's 40%? 0 0.4. x plus 0 0.6 y equals. Now, this is the tricky part. These percent questions, I can't just set that equal to 52% or even 0.52. Because 0.52 would be like setting, well, it would be setting it equal to percent. Now, what have I done with my percents here? When I did this percent, I multiplied it by the number of liters. When I did 60%, I multiplied it by the number of liters, because that's what y is. So when I do the 0 0.52, I have to multiply it by the number of liters, which is the 200. So this is actually going to be 104 that you have to set this equal to in this equation. That's kind of tricky. So you have 0 0.52 times 200. That's how you get this number. All right, now once we've got the equations, we are going to, as per my usual solving style, when I've got the x plus y, I'm going to times by the smaller of the coefficients, so 0 0.4. So 0.4x plus 0.4y equals 0.4 times 200. Yes, I should be able to do that in my head. Um, equals 80. OK, so eliminate, subtract down. This goes away. That goes to 0.2y. This goes to 24. Divide by 0.2. And y is equal to 120, leaving x to be 80. So again, if they add to 200 and that's 120, this has to be 80. Therefore, you need 120 liters of y. What was y? Look back to your let statements. y was 60. You need 120 liters of 60% and 80 liters of 40% solution. Done. OK. Perimeter of a rectangle is 176 meters. Now, perimeter of a rectangle, let's go over that. This is what a rectangle looks like. You've got some lengths and widths. And no, it's not length times width. That's the area. And it, no, it's not length plus width, because that's only half the perimeter. To go around there, you actually end up getting 2Ls plus 2W, and that's equal to your perimeter, which is 176. Oh, let statements. Whoops, lost a mark almost. Let L represent length. Let W width. And I should probably put in here in meters, because if we're measuring in. OK, so let statements are in there. They're kind of ugly, but I had to squeeze them in. Uh, first equation, perimeter. Second equation, equal to, OK, it couldn't make that any more obvious that this is L equals, and it's equal to 4 less than 3 times the width. So first of all, let's get 3 times the width, 3 Ws, and then we're going to minus 4 from that. Because that Mr. Craven, please contact Dalton, Mr. Craven. is 4 less than 3 times the width. OK, now, I almost always do elimination, as we've seen in the last examples, but this time, this is all set up for substitution. L is equal to, I put that in a bracket, and I plug it into there, because that's an L. So because L is 3w minus 4, I can turn this L into 3w minus 4. Plus 2w equals 176. All right, multiply that in, do some distribution, and simplify my w's. I have 8w. Add 8 to both sides, or move it to the other side and switch the sign, whatever you like. So that comes over becomes plus 8. So 8w equals 184, and divide off that. And w is going to equal 23. All right. Now, 
Hey, Patrick, how are you doing? Good. Making Good. math making math videos. Oh, are you? Yeah. That's exciting. Oh, yeah, big time. <laughs> so, you got W. Now, use this equation. L is equal to 3 times 23 minus 4. You get L. What you call a cliffhanger? <laughs> Yes, I'm, I'm sure the suspense is killing them. <laughs> That's right. Listen, have a good weekend. You too. Yes, yes, this, this is the beginning of my Friday night. I swear I'm going to go do something more, more exciting. Okay, so uh, we are, sorry, a little sidetrack there. Uh, we are solved for the width, solved for the length. Therefore, dimensions are... 23 by 68 meters, or I mean, you could also say the dimensions are 68 is the length and 23 is the width, but I that's nah, good enough. All right, well, uh, thanks, Scotty, <laughs> and uh, I hope everybody else has a good weekend too.